Sage CRM's tight integration with Microsoft Outlook ensures that a history of important customer communications is always accessible to your entire company. In this tutorial, you'll see how to enable the integration and how to file emails from Outlook into Sage CRM. So let's jump right in and take a look. Each user can install the integration from their own workstation, but before doing so, there are two things to check. First, make sure you're using a compatible version of Outlook, and second, make sure Outlook is closed before attempting to install the integration. Now back to the installation. Go to My CRM, then the Preferences tab. Now click the Install button, and click Install, then OK to complete the installation. Now we'll open Outlook. Right away you should notice some changes. There's some new icons on the toolbar, and there's also some new folders in the folder list. At this point, you have the option of opening Sage CRM within Outlook or continuing to work with Outlook and Sage CRM as separate yet integrated applications. Let's go ahead and open Sage CRM within Outlook. All you need to do is click on any of the CRM folders or the CRM toolbar button and the logon screen will appear. Enter your username and password, then click logon and there it is, Sage CRM within Outlook. In this mode, I can jump back and forth between my inbox and CRM by clicking on the folders. Now let's take a look at what is probably the most powerful feature of the Outlook integration, and that's the filing of emails. Let's suppose that we've received an email from one of our customers, Simon Yaltoy, and his email contains information that we believe should become part of his communication history in Sage CRM. So we'll highlight the email and click the File Email button. Note that Sage CRM will automatically associate the email with the sender if a matching email address is found. You can also use the search tools to find and associate an email with a person in Sage CRM. To help organize Simon Yaltoy's communication history, we can file the email under a specific sales opportunity or customer service case that may exist under his company, Gatecom. The Regarding Fields Finder will show all existing cases and opportunities for Gatecom. Note the selection field for filing by date and time. We'll go with the default so that the original filing date is used in CRM. And now we'll click the File Email button. Once an email has been filed, you'll find a check mark in the File Email column next to the email in Outlook, so you'll know that this has already been placed in Sage CRM. Now let's jump back to CRM to locate the email under Simon Yaltoy's communication history. We'll use the finder to locate Simon, then we'll click his Communications tab. Here's the email, and note that it's filed with the original subject line and the actual received date and time. Now let's also jump over to Simon's sales opportunities and make sure that the email has also been filed under the opportunity that we selected under the Regarding field. And there it is. Importantly, the filed email becomes part of the communications history that Sage CRM maintains under each customer. To recap, the tight integration between Sage CRM and Outlook enhances productivity and maintains a history of important customer communications in your Sage CRM system. In a future tutorial, we'll cover the options you have for sending and filing outbound emails and the integration and synchronization of contacts, tasks, and appointments between Outlook and Sage CRM. If you're already using Sage CRM, Give us a call for training or customization. And if you're not using Sage CRM, make sure you get in touch with us to learn how your company can benefit from Sage CRM sales, marketing, and customer service automation. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.